So guys, one of the things that I've noticed from the sizes of the shirts that are shipped out on a regular basis and from the questions you guys send is that we have a lot of big dudes um, that follow me, right? Um, guys that don't have the longest legs like this dude and guys that are a little bit stockier build like me, right? Um, I'm not short, but I'm kind of stocky. And so um, a lot of you guys have asked questions about like how, what kind of game should you play if you're stocky or if you have like a maybe shorter legs. And for me personally, I find the best positions just that seem to favor my body type and people that have a similar body type is half guard, butterfly guard, things like that. And so what I want to do is I'm going to do a kind of just an ongoing video series every week or so and show you guys some half guard stuff and some butterfly guard stuff that you can use in your game. Um, we're going to start from the very basics and work our way up because I'd kind of like you guys, if you are following this throughout the series, I'd like you to kind of get a grip instead of me just throwing some random techniques at you, maybe kind of build you up a little bit over time. Again, guys, with all this, um, I, I share this. No matter what, there's no silver bullet in jiu-jitsu, right? So no matter what I show you, it doesn't mean that it's always gonna work. It means that it can work for the situation that I show you because again, there's, all, there's so many variables. Um, so the situation we're gonna look at now is basically entering into a really deep underhook here, which then can allow me to shoot into sort of a, a deeper half guard position here. And we're gonna take a look at this, okay? I'm gonna show you two different drills you can do. So the first thing's first, guys, we're gonna talk about just like a basic knee shield here. Um, what I'm gonna be doing a lot of times is kicking this through for momentum so I can get up into the person uh, and get an underhook. And when I do this, I wanna block the inside because I don't wanna like leave my head open where I sit up and then eat Chad's shoulder or bicep here or cross face, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna maintain control on the inside. I like to have this arm framed across and this arm against the bicep here so this way they can't cross face me. Now, I'm gonna kick this leg through and sit up and I'm gonna put my ear to his chest so I can basically, my, my I can hear his heartbeat, right? Now, I, this is the detail I want you to get out of this drill is the way that we fight for the underhook. I'm gonna peek my elbow out first and then get an underhook here. Well, I'll give you a different angle on that first. Now, from here, this is a good position for me. Now, from here, what I want to happen is Chad's gonna fight for this. So he's gonna put this form across the neck. He's gonna smash me down, re-fight for his underhook. And again, if you notice, come back. He fought, again, leading with the elbow. Okay, I'll show you why that's important in a second. All right, so he gets here. Now, he's flattened me out, and this is really important. A lot of you guys have to learn how to play from this position if you're, get, uh, if you're gonna try to use half guard. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by bridging up, and I'm gonna push my bicep on his face, and I'm going to bridge, pop, and I wanna try to like really, I mean, I get a match or something, you'll be smashing the crap out of the guy with your, your bicep to get his weight to shift. From there, I can place my knee shield in, go ahead and get my inside grips, kick through, Ear to the chest, peek the elbow out, get the underhook, and then Chad's gonna smash me down. Boom, boom, good. And so you can kind of think of this almost like a pummeling drill from wrestling where we're going back and forth fighting for the underhooks. So again, like I don't have the, not the longest legs here. Okay, so we're here, we kick the leg through, and I lead. Now, check this out. I'm leading with the elbow here. So even if Chad's elbows are really tight on the inside, like he's trying to press away from me, I can still peek this elbow out, circle to get an underhook. And also notice where the underhook is. It's not like right here where you can crank my arm. Yeah, that would hurt really bad. It's across the back here. Nice strong underhook, which we'll show in a second why that's important. Okay, from here, Chad is gonna press across my face, smash me down here, and then fight and lead with this underhook. Okay, one more time. Push against the hip here with this arm. Big bridge, smash, knee shield in, boom. And we can just go back and forth like that. And that's a really good um, thing because again, what ends up happening a lot of times when you fight for the underhook, if you bleed with your hand, like if he tucks his elbow in, it's hard for me to like shoot my hand through. But if I go here, boom, I can get that anyway. Okay, so that's one of the things that for me helps out with underhooks a lot. Even from like if the person's passing, passing my guard, this is another thing that really helps me with the underhooks is bleeding with my elbow, not my hand. Okay. Now let's talk about setting up this position that we're gonna start with again. So like next week, I'll go ahead and show you a sweep from this position, um, but this will kind of get us started. So once we enter into this position, okay, one of the things that I really think is important, because if we know that like one of the options Chad has is to push against my neck, then what I wanna do is I wanna get his hands to post and get him off me. So from here, instead of just trying to like shoot up under him, I'm gonna try to throw him over top of me. My arm is across the back, I'm gonna shoot my shoulder down and flip my elbow forward. And notice what happens, Chad's forced to post on the mat. That kinda gives me a free move. Now I'm able to adjust around him. From here, I'm gonna hook the outside leg, I'm gonna tuck the head in, and I'm gonna go down really low. There's some different options here, guys, we'll talk more about them later. For now, just understand that we wanna basically glue our head to his hip so I don't get cross-faced right across the nose. We'll get in really tight, 
This hand can grab the toes, it can grab the leg here, and we're, we're just in this position, okay? For the drill, or for like if you were drilling this, we would loosen up, let the person sort of resettle, boom, back into position, shoot up again, bang. Again, we get our underhook. When you can do this, guys, drop to your shoulder, and you're not falling to your back, you're sort of leaning forward, flipping the elbow up, and again, shooting under his body. From here, we hook the outside leg and drive our body in close. For the drill, we'll release and then reset. Okay, come on back this way. Let's take a look at it from a different angle, guys. So again, I kick up, boom, get inside here. I drop under, and again, I kind of use my foot to scoot and throw him over top of me, right? Kind of get him to post, because now I'm way up under his hips, which is where you want to be. Hook the outside leg, now we're there. We'll re let him reset. And one small detail, guys, I'll share this just because there's so many things, it's so hard sometimes to always get the video, the details in the video. Um, when I do this, as I scoot, I'm, I'm gonna take this bottom knee, this, this uh, right leg, and I'm sort of kicking this through. See what that does to him? So as I'm sitting forward, I'm not just throwing him over top, my whole body's, my hips are shifting forward as I'm throwing him over top. So I'm going here, following back and see what that does, and then we hook. This leg, this is very important, guys. This outside leg back here hooks the ankle and then we're down low, okay? And that's gonna get us set up for this basic position. Um, if you watch some of my matches, I use this position a lot. I've used it for years, it's been really helpful to me, especially when I can't like lock my legs around someone's like waist. Uh, and again, for me personally, I'm just not built for a full guard game. So um, I'll keep bringing some half guard and butterfly guard stuff to you guys over the next few weeks. Hopefully it's helpful to you. And I'll talk to you guys next time.